Hey everybody, welcome to EmpireCV.tv. Here we are in front of a beautiful art wall with Jeremy Rathbone's artwork. Uh, you can see his artwork online. Go to Jeremy Rathbone. You can go to our Empire's CV, no, I'm sorry, Empire's Comics Vault on Facebook, and there'll be links to it there as well. Uh, everything up here is for sale. You can go to Monkey Revolution, spelled M U N K I E Revolution.com, and see his stuff as well. So, right, oh no, we're not right into the books. This Saturday is another Rolly weekend. She was here last Saturday. She's going to be here again. Come on down and say hi. Free comic book day is coming. It's May 4th. We're opening at 9 a.m. 15,000 plus comic books to give out. Sales on everything. We're going to have a mini con with a bunch of guests here. It's going to be a great day. You want to come here. You want to then go to May the 4th be with you. And then you want to go to the rink and see the Sac City Rollers. It's going to be a long day for you. It's going to be a fun day. So now right into the books. Lots of trades this week. There's a ton of them. So I'm just going to hit them real quick. Some of the bigger ones. New uh, Angel and Faith book. That trade is out tomorrow. This was a great story. It was probably my favorite crossover for AVX. It was in X-Men Legacy. It was when the book was still the Rogue book. And this is uh, literally, it, there's a big cast in here, but this is the Rogue book. It's the love triangle between Magneto, Gambit, Rogue. And this one has a lot of Rogue solo time. Really good tie into the AVX, plus she goes off and does some of her own stuff traveling uh, across the stars. So, great book out tomorrow. Ah, uh, I know you guys have been waiting for this. It's a new Aliens book. Most importantly, it's Sam Keith. That's the name we're looking for. Available in hardcover. Only available this way. We've got a new printing on Paul Pope's Batman Year 100. Paul Pope, enough said. Ah, a lot of you really got into uh, Manhattan Projects with the last trade. Manhattan Projects trade number two is out tomorrow. And Happy. I do believe if you're looking for individual issues that I have all of the individual issues for Happy. If you'd rather have that, or if you just want it all in one place, trade comes out tomorrow. A beautiful art book. Dragon Age. Jen is absolutely addicted to Dragon Age. She's played it a ton of times. Uh, beat it multiple endings. I have played the second one. Or no, I played the first one. Didn't get too far into the second one, and this art book is really making me want to go dig it out again. Really, really beautiful stuff along with backstory on all of it. So now on to comic books. we got Cyberforce. It's still free. Make sure you just bring it up to the counter. You're not going to get charged. There's a giant pile, and there are probably some more of the older issues up in the Top Cow section. Ask me if you're not sure where that is. So Wonder Woman. Azarello's still going strong. Uh, people have a love-hate relationship with this one. Uh, personally, I love it. Part of it is because I've got my new gods here. You've got Orion. Uh, we saw Mr. Miracle and Big Barda pop up in action. We're going to start getting a lot more of them. But this one continues with the child of Zeus and a mortal woman. There's a prophecy that says that this child will kill a god and take over the throne. Well, it says a throne. We don't know what god, what throne, but half of the gods are there protecting him. The other half of the gods are out to kill him. Apollo is now on the throne. Zeus is gone. We've got Wonder Woman, Orion, War, Hera, all helping the child. And things heat up in this one because the firstborn of Zeus is out to get the throne as well. And he's just found out about the child. So things are about to mix up. Apollo thinks he's safe on the throne, but things continue to change. New Aspen book revolving around genies. We've got a young girl whose mother is abducted by a sorcerer. She goes out on an adventure to try and find her and find out why he took her, where they're going. She's going off to all these exotic lands that she's never seen before. And they don't tell us why in the first issue. It is only a zero with a $1 price tag on it. She has the ability to turn into a genie herself and wreak havoc. So fun Aspen art style, beautiful covers. It's only a dollar. Age of Ultron continues. I brought out last week's because I didn't want to talk about this week's. I, they're coming out every week, and I know a lot of you have not caught up. This was last week's. This is this week's. Without giving too much away, because I know some of you haven't read it, Ultron has taken over the Earth, and there are a bunch of heroes on the run. We've got a lot of mainly... Well, he's killed off a ton. He's killed off the, the whole Fantastic Four, except for Susan Storm. Um, he's killed off a bunch of the X-Men. This ragtag group of people are trying to find a place that they can essentially hide out, get away from him, and formulate a plan. They decide they're going to go to Nick Fury's, uh, one of his hidden bases, and it kind of goes from there. I can't tell you too much. Ultron is attacking the present from the future. They know that, and they're trying to find out a way to get to him from there. This one here builds it up. This one has some consequences that I wasn't quite expecting. So it leaves it where I really have to wait for the next issue to find out what was happening because 
two, they have two options. There's a team taking care of both of those options, and both teams are not doing very well. So, leaving that alone, we've got Justice League, another fold-out cover. Who is attacking Superman? It's a mystery. The Green Lantern, we got the, I believe this is the conclusion. Whoop, sorry, this is my copy, it's okay. Uh, part 11, no, I believe there's one more uh, in that. And yep, it's coming to a head though with the Wrath of the First Lantern. We've got more cap in Dimension Z. I finally got caught up on that. Excellent artwork. Good job, Bermuda. You're looking good. And the story is obviously great with Remender writing it. Captain Marvel's tomorrow. That has been a really fun ride. This is the one that I was not expecting to like as much as I do. Nova. Guardians of the Galaxy is great. Nova's really good. I went into it thinking, am I going to like this? Uh, can Loeb uh, hook me on this? And he really did. In fact, I think this is probably the best Marvel book that Loeb has done. DC stuff has been awesome. Just not a big fan of the Marvel stuff. Sorry, Loeb. But Nova, you really got me. So I cannot wait for each and every issue of that to come out. Okay, because we talked about the trade with Rogue... X-Men Legacy is still going on. Legion is the star in this. I know a lot of you don't care about Legion. I know a lot of you don't know anything about Legion. The book is really well written. The trade comes out tomorrow, plus we do have all the issues on the shelf. It's not written in your traditional American comic book format. It has all the characters that we know, but it feels, when I read it, more like a European, more like a 2000 AD. If you can get past the fact that it says X-Men on it, it's an excellent read. Did you get that? Excellent. Sorry. It's not funny when you have to tell people about your jokes. Five Ghosts, Noir, Horror, Supernatural. First issue was really good. Second issue comes out tomorrow. I think that's about it, guys. Remember, SCCG every Tuesday night, 6.30 to 8 in here. Rolly's coming in this Saturday. Free comic book day. Emails are coming soon. Keep your eyes open.